Unit 6 Vietnam, then and now. Unit 6 Page 60 Getting started. Activity 1 Listen and read. Can you believe it's the school's 60th anniversary? I know. I really like the photo exhibition. It's fascinating to see how the school used to look. Right. The photos explain a lot about our school in the past. Look, these two pictures were taken in 1970. Wow, that long ago. The school looks more like thatched houses with paddy fields all around. You can see there were only a few classrooms and the walls were made of mud and straw and, look, trenches. I think that was during the war, so it was necessary to have the trenches right there. Ha! The students in this picture are wearing rubber sandals and straw hats. Hey, and these pictures were taken in 1985. Look at the broken tiled roof and wooden window frames. And some of them are missing. Yes, I can't imagine how those students could study in such poor conditions. Right. Things have improved considerably now. We have everything. Comfortable classrooms, learning facilities like computer rooms. Yeah, we also have nice uniforms and proper shoes. We're much luckier these days, but I'm not sure our grades are better. Unit 6 Page 63 A Closer Look 1 Pronunciation Activity 5 Write each sentence in the box next to its pattern. Then listen, check and repeat. 1 I know. That long? Don't cry. Two. Go away. Three. Keep going. Four. Don't turn left. Unit 6, page 67, skills 2, listening, activity 2, Nick is talking to Mrs Ha, Jung's mother, about her family in the past, listen to the conversation and fill in the blanks. So, how many generations shared a house when you were young, Mrs. Ha? Well, unlike today, people of my generation mostly lived in extended families. Really? How many of you were there? Nine. My grandparents, my uncle, his wife and kids, my parents and me. And did you each have a private room, like now? No. We shared most things even the bedrooms and bathroom. I can't imagine. How about meals? Meal times were great because we could have time together every day. We talked about our day, problems at work, or things happening in the village. It sounds great. So, who did the shopping and cooking? Mostly my grandma. She was very hard working and kind, caring and tolerant. Wow! You all must have been tolerant to get along so well. Yes, this is especially true when it came to decision-making. What happened then? We didn't always agree, but we learned to talk, listen and compromise. Our grandad made the final decision and we followed. Hmm, sounds fascinating. Unit 6 Page 67 
Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again, and decide if the following statements are true or false. So, how many generations shared a house when you were young, Mrs. Ha? Well, unlike today, people of my generation mostly lived in extended families. Really? How many of you were there? Nine. My grandparents, my uncle, his wife, and kids, my parents, and me. And did you each have a private room like now? No, we shared most things. Even the bedrooms and bathroom. I can't imagine. How about meals? Meal times were great because we could have time together every day. We talked about our day, problems at work, or things happening in the village. It sounds great. So who did the shopping and cooking? Mostly my grandma. She was very hardworking, and kind, caring, and tolerant. Wow. You all must have been tolerant to get along so well. Yes, this is especially true when it came to decision making. What happened then? We didn't always agree, but we learned to talk, listen, and compromise. Our granddad made the final decision, and we followed. Hmm, sounds fascinating.